Well, it's about 3 o'clock on Friday afternoon, getting ready to head up to Inverness, Florida for the Century Ride. You know, unfortunately, uh, the last couple of days have been feeling pretty crummy. Caught some kind of bug in my system, and hopefully with all the ibuprofen and Tylenol and cough medicines, I'll feel better for the ride tomorrow. So, wanted to share this whole journey with you and enjoy this video. And here we go. Time to uh, get the car packed up and heading up to Inverness. Okay, time to put the elliptico on the car. I'll put a link where you get more information on this car rack. This is uh, the Hollywood rack. Uh, and it's worked very well. Uh, one thing, just keep in mind, um, if you have a spoiler, you want to make sure to have some extra padding in there because otherwise your paint will scratch up the spoiler, and I learned that early on. And uh, it, uh, it really is a heavy-duty, solid um, bike rack, and I've been real happy, so time to put it on. All right, we're underway. Got the elliptico all on the car and out and about, getting ready to head on the highway. And uh, looking forward to uh, getting to my destination safely. So uh, hang on, we'll uh, share some uh, great moments through this trip. And uh, that's it for now. We'll see you uh, in a little bit. Well, I'm an hour and a half into my ride and I stopped to get some gas. Just make sure that the elliptico is uh, on okay and sure enough I realize they leave my wallet at home. So now I gotta drive home and then I'm gonna have to go again. Uh, not a good feeling and uh, it will make it for a long night tonight. Oh boy, what can I do? I guess I just have no choice to go back. So my adventure continues. All right, I got my wallet. It actually only took me about an hour to get back. I thought it was going to be more like an hour and a half. And this darn thing was uh, stuck underneath the notebook. But um, nonetheless, I uh, stopped back, got some gas, and now I'm uh, getting on the highway. And hopefully I can make up some time here. And uh, certainly a learning lesson. Uh, never a dull moment. So on we go. Well, it's midnight. I'm really about to go to sleep. It was a long journey to get here after leaving my wallet, but glad that ordeal is done. Won't be uh, doing that again. So I got all my stuff uh, laid out for tomorrow. And I've got my lip to go here in the room with me. And uh, I'm feeling a little congested, so I'm a little worried about tomorrow. Uh, also, hopefully the weather will cooperate. So time to get some Z's and look forward to the big day tomorrow. So we'll see you in the morning. Well, it's 6.20 a.m. Had a really rough night. Uh, almost ready to call it off. Uh, I took some Tylenol and uh, feeling a lot better. And hopefully, as I get going, I'm going to feel better. But I'm going to play it by ear. Uh, it's going to be very questionable if I can get uh, this century ride done. But I'm going to do my darndest. Uh, and we're expecting some, some pretty strong rain. So it may be a very long day. So come on with us. Uh, we'll continue to... Uh, Cheer throughout the day, and uh, that's it for now. We'll see you in a little bit. Well, 6.30, and it's pouring raining out. Oh, boy. Looks like I'm hanging here at the uh, motel for a little bit to see what happens. This is not good for business. All right, time to check in. Okay, ready for our century ride? Ready for our century ride. It's really nasty out here, cold. Well, not that cold, but it's uh, humid, uh, rainy, damp, and uh, we are off. We'll uh, keep you tuned as we go along. See you later. All right, we're at the 25-mile uh, mark about. I'm hanging in there. Hanging in there. Uh, it's been a great adventure so far. Yep, headwind for the next 47 miles. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that. That's okay. We got the hills out of the way. 
And we got our bracelets. We got our bracelets. Uh, purple and red. Yep. And we're going to continue on. We'll check in at the next stop. All right, we're at the 40 mile mark. 40 miles. Uh, we just had some uh, food. We're going to go take keep a nap. going. <laughs> yeah, take a nap. Seriously, I can use one right now. Holy cow. But uh, winds aren't as bad as I thought. What do you think? No, the winds aren't bad yet. Uh, also, it's been dry, so that's good. Yeah, it, we were worried this morning. That I was looking like I was going to be a rough day with the rain starting, but we'll keep on uh, sharing with you as we go along. Yep. All right. On. All right. Out. Well, it's uh, 84.7 miles done. Uh, Steve's a good bit ahead of me right now. I'm really hurting, so I'm just pacing myself. Got a horrible headache. And it's kind of just been uh, torture. So, I'm looking forward to completing this, and uh, it's about the same pace that I did uh, about a month ago when I did my own century ride. Okay, it's is very hot, but the nice part is we're getting some shade here too. So, anyway, we'll see you at the uh, finish, but uh, I never thought uh, after I was so sick during the night, I thought I was going to just go home. But I pushed on through and I really wanted to uh, become a century rider. Alright, we'll see you at the finish line. Well, Steve, we did it. We did it. Nine hours, 50 minutes, 11 seconds with uh, brakes. Uh, Steve, you were an <laughs> incredible Thanks. You were uh, riding buddy. Uh, you put up with me with all the bathroom brakes. and. Uh, it's all and, good. And it was uh, an experience, and I, I really didn't think I was going to be able to finish, and uh, but uh, an incredible experience, and so glad that uh, we're both part of the uh, we're on, Century we're in the Club. record books. We are in the record books. Yeah. So uh, we appreciate each and every one of you for uh, enjoying our journey with us. Yes, and thanks for all your support. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll see you at the uh, next big event. Next big event. Thanks. All right. Take care.